Hey, this is Steph from stephhendel.com and I'm here with a summer beach workout. We're doing the summer challenge here, so there is a good chance that you are gonna be on vacation at some point during this summer challenge. So I'm gonna show you a workout that you can do from the beach with no weights, nothing, and it's going to kick some butt. last summer in Florida and every morning I would come outside take my yoga mat and do all kinds of workouts on the beach it is so nice to be out here grounding yourself and you can do this workout even if you're not at the beach or on vacation remember you can do this right in your living room so wake up early in the morning and get out here and do it I promise you your day will be so much better and you're gonna feel fantastic so you know what time it is it's postable quote time oh yeah it is. What I want you to remember is that no one is in charge of your happiness except for you. You control how you feel. The same thing goes for your workout. You decide how your workout feels. Don't look at it as something that's painful and that you have to do and that you hate to do. Look at your workout as something that you get to do and makes you feel awesome. Okay, enough talking. Time for a workout. Let's go. It's getting hot out here, so we're going to do this fast. Okay, first exercise. Start off by reaching down to your left foot jumping up and then reaching down to your right. What you're gonna be doing is jumping as high as you can, squatting down as you touch your foot. Let's see some real intensity and power on this one. I know that you didn't get your laptop out and everything, so you could just be kinda lazy with this workout. You set that time aside so you could see real results and real changes in your body. And that's not gonna come from going halvesies right here. This is full intensity, it's not very long. You don't have to do this workout for a long amount of time. So the time you are doing it, I wanna see everything you've got all on the table. And then when you're done, you can rest, you can do whatever you want for the rest of the day. But let's go right now. I wanna see deep squats, high jumps, Go full out, and remember, check your form. Again, when you're squatting and coming down, you do not want your knees to go over top of your toes. So make sure you have that in check. These are your last 10 seconds. I wanna see the most intensity that you can give me right now. All right, so come on down into plank position. On this one, you're gonna be tucking your knees in towards your elbows. This is one of those exercises that is gonna engage your full body. You've got your arms, your legs, and your abs all working at the same time. And you're not only engaging your upper abs, lower abs, but you're also engaging your obliques, which is the sides of your abs. So let's do a little form check right now. You wanna make sure you're in the plank position. You don't want your back to be arched up and you don't wanna be dipping too low with your hips. You wanna be in a straight plank position. How high up are your knees coming? Let's bring them a little bit higher. You wanna engage that core as fully as you can. Remember, go all out on this one. Okay, so let's do three more on each side. So this will be one, good job. Let's go for two, yes. And three, dig really deep, you got it. And now come on up, we're gonna do this cardio section. Ready? All right, it's time to get that heart rate up. Let's go, we're doing jump rope with high knees. I want you to get those knees as high up as you possibly can. I want you to go all out for this. This is your cardio section of the workout, so let's do it. Let's go as hard as you possibly can with as much energy as you got. We're almost done. Keep going higher. Get those knees wherever they are right now. I want you to go higher for these last few. All right, here we go. We got the next exercise coming up. Go into a wide leg stance. You want your feet facing outwards and you're squatting down. As you come up, you're pulling your arms into a row backwards and then a tricep extension. 
So for this move, you are working your inner thighs, you're working your back, and you're also working your triceps all at the same time. These are some serious trouble zones that we are always trying to tighten up. So this exercise is going to hit all those spots all at once. That's why we love it so much. This is the travel edition vacation workout. So I know you got a lot of stuff to do and you don't wanna spend a lot of time working out. So that's why we're working major muscle groups all at once so that you're getting way more bang for your buck. All right, so really quick, let's check in on form. You wanna make sure when you're squatting down that your knees are not going over top of your toes. You wanna make sure that as you're rowing back, you're almost pinching your elbows together at the top and then extending straight back. Now, just make sure that your arms are not flailing out wide. You want them to come back straight. So on this one, we're gonna do five more. Let's do this, here we go. We got five, good job, four, now you wanna check your form again, make sure you're all in line with everything. Here comes three. You got it, good job, keep going. Two, let's make these last two the best two. Okay, and one, make it a great one. Here we go, good job. We're gonna throw another little cardio burst in here, so let's do some jumping jacks. You wanna go as wide as you can on these. I don't wanna see any little baby jacks. I want full on jumping jacks. There's only 30 seconds of these. You're already halfway through them. So I want to see full intensity as much as you got. This is a super short amount of time to be doing cardio. So I know that you got to put all of that energy, everything you got into it right now. Keep going, big full on jacks. Let's do it a couple more. And then we move on to our last exercise. All right, come on down to the mat because we are going to do a little bit more ab work. The abs and the core are super important to a strong body. So extend your right leg out. We're gonna do one leg at a time and your arms are behind your head and you're lifting yourself up towards your foot. Hello abs. Yes, you are going to feel these. Okay, so your focus here is to be extending with your arms upward and not with your neck. You don't wanna be pulling on your neck. If you're doing these properly, you are gonna feel it so much in your abs. It's crazy. You're gonna be feeling it very quickly. And the reason I don't want to see you pulling up with your neck is because you're putting all this hard work and effort into a great workout and I want you to see results instead of putting effort in and then seeing nothing. So let's make sure we do this with the proper form. All right, let's do four more on this side. So that's one. Let's get that full extension. Remember, reach up with your abs and not with your neck. Three. Just two more right here. Really reaching up. Dig deep. Find that intensity. And let's do one more. Good job. All right, now let's switch legs. We're gonna even it out. Let's do the other side. And left leg goes up. We're extending upwards towards the ankle. This is a great exercise to do often because not only are you just working your abs, but you're also working the sides of your abs, your obliques, because you're twisting to the side. You're not just going straight forward. So especially if you're at the beach and you're gonna be in a bikini after this workout, then this is perfect to get those abs all ready. So let's do four more. Here's one. Really give that good extension as you reach up and be engaging those abs. Two, this is your last move of the day and you only have two more left. What are you gonna do? Let's put all your effort into it. This is the last one. Here we go. Good job and relax. Woo, what a workout. You guys put in some major effort and look at that gorgeous view behind us. That was fantastic. I'm so proud of you. So what I want you to do now, Steph Handel Facebook page, check in with me, tell me you did the workout, let me know how it was, tell me how you're feeling, are you sweating? You better be, after that workout, you better be sweating. And you can go jump in the water or go take a cold shower. That's what I recommend, cold showers are the best after a good workout. Anyway, check in on the Facebook page. You can also register at stephhandel.com for this summer challenge. It's not over yet, we still got a couple weeks left and I want you to be part of it. So sign up for that summer challenge, check in with me, and I gotta go, I gotta get in that water. I'll see you later. So I've got a little confession to make. I've been keeping something from you guys. It's a new program that I've been working on designed to make losing weight fun, help you love your body and live it up. Fit and Fearless University is coming up soon. For more info and more free training videos like these, go to stephendel.com.